Hi, Paul from Deutsche Auto Parts. Today we're going to be going over installation as well as diagnosis for xenon headlight bulbs, which would be a D2S bulb on Mark V, GTIs, and Jettas with xenon headlights. Here we are at the back of the headlight. This is happens to be the driver's side headlight. Uh, the cap here is going to be the low beam that's on the outer side. We're going to be doing this out of the vehicle only so that we can accurately show people how to do this with good detail. You can do it with the headlight inside the car, but you, you're not going to be able to see much. Uh, so we can start by turning this large cap counterclockwise. It's about a quarter of a turn. Now here we have the, uh, the igniter on the back of the bulb here. This is also snapped in place and you just turn that counterclockwise and it will lock out. Now see what happens is this electrical connector for the igniter actually will release by itself when you turn that. So you don't have to worry about unplugging it beforehand. Now we can just slide this out of place. Now one thing, one thing we want to mention is the igniter, if you're having issues with your bulbs on your vehicle and you're not sure what the problem is, the best thing to do is to swap the igniter from side to side because they are the same. And if the problem moves, then you know you've identified your issue. Uh, and also if, it, if you've determined that that's not your problem, you can try swapping the bulbs as well. That will also help you determine if you're having an intermittent problem, if that's what the source of your problem is. Now we have our igniter off, so to get our bulb out, all we're going to do is, there's a trim ring here that locks this bulb in place. All we're going to do is turn it counterclockwise, it's about a quarter turn as well, and then wiggle that out of place. Now it's important to know, gloves are really important for this job. If you touch the new bulb when you're installing it, the glass, all, all the oils from your hands will destroy the bulb immediately. So it's extremely important to make sure that you do not touch any of the glass on this bulb, even with gloves, but it's better to just wear gloves to be sure. Now, something to be aware of with this bulb when you're reinstalling the new one is all these notches have to line up. So if we look inside the housing, there's gonna be a place for this. So if we take a look here, this square notch right at the very top is going to be the orientation of how you need to have your bulb. So the cutout needs to be lined up with that square. Okay, so as we go to reinstall our bulb, we, we just slide it in there and make sure it's in the correct place. Now what we're gonna do is hold that in place just so we can try to show you. It's a lot of times easier to put the bulb in this already just for ease of installation, but this cap here has a writing on it that says top. If this cap is not in the correct orientation, it won't seat in place and you're going to struggle and never be able to get your bowl back in place. So we can slide that on. And try to not block you too much here. Okay. Here we have our orientation where the bulb is seated properly and the locking cap is also seated properly. So all we're gonna do is turn it about a quarter turn clockwise. Now you see it locks in place, it's very easy. The main, the most important thing is if everything's lined up, it's gonna be easy to lock in place. You're not gonna struggle, you're not gonna have to really tighten it hard or anything. So just keep that in mind when you're doing that. Now, here's our igniter and that goes in at that orientation like so. And again, all we do is turn it in place and then plug it in. Mm. Careful you don't turn it out. And we can put our back cover on and we're all set. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions, ideas, or feedback in the comments below.